What's up, Internet? Big J with Big J's Dream Fitness, Hub Training, and Beer Drinking. This is one of the videos from back in the day with Paul and I at three over at his house in Fort Worth in a garage that we used to train at together. Good times. Now, today at Metroflux Gym, I did some hub training, but I wanted to remind myself and you guys how much fun we used to have. We'd have a, a, a party with everybody getting together, barbecuing, drinking a few beers, and grip training. Grab the 45 pounds, and this is not the only task we had. We'd have a lot of other fun, but we grabbed the 45 hub, stand up, and down the beer before we dropped the 45. Now, that's Paul Knight 3 there. You used to call him Paul, and uh, he was the man. We had a lot of fun. I'm telling you. Matter of fact, that's Strongman Seth in the background. You can hear him talking, and then Big Chris Mays, and I can't remember everybody else that was there, but it was always a lot of fun. So today at Metroflex Gym, uh, I, I had done just a little bit of hub training on the Iron Mind hub, and then went ahead and decided to do some of the uh, hubs on the 25s, 35s, and 45s. And there's I'm trying to do an air transfer, which I was successful for one time. Uh, and then I did a double hub hold, which we used to do the curls. Point being here is back when I used to train grip every single weekend for you know months and even years on end, it was always a lot easier to jump right back into it. However, you don't use it, you're going to lose it. Now... Grip training, in t in my opinion, and I went for years without doing any grip training, and my grip suffered. My forearms suffered. My forearms, uh, the older I get, the smaller they get, the weaker they get. So you have to incorporate everything that you're uh, involved with functionally as a human being in your workforce and work environment and in your hobbies. If you're a bow hunter or if you're a motorcycle rider or if you're a farmer, uh, things that require mechanics, things that require strength especially with your hands you're gonna have to do this stuff okay especially the older you get the, the weaker you're gonna get and the smaller you're gonna get atrophy sets in uh different hobbies different habits different things in life and i promise you again i used to be able to hold 45s on each hand i don't know if i have a video of that and i'm not even gonna say that i did i know i could do one hand i can hold it the other hand but i don't think i did both hands however uh, now, you saw in the last part of the video there at Metro, it was a struggle for me to get that 45 and hold it in that position for more than a couple seconds versus down and hold beer. So once again, grip training, extremely important for functionality, even as a non-lifter. If you're out there, uh, you know, working in the garden or, or on a farm or, you know, working on your car or riding a motorcycle, any of the things that I've already mentioned, uh, and it definitely helps you in the weight room too. Hope you guys are enjoying these clips. I really enjoyed finding that clip with Paul Knight and myself at his garage. I miss him and everybody's always asking where he's at. I do believe that he's in Ohio. And if you watch, uh, gosh, I'll put his name in the description box. I can't think of it. Jed Johnson. If you watch Jed Johnson and the Diesel Crew, uh, he does some videos with him now too. Till next time, Tensity Rules, Train Hardcore. The grip, if you don't use it, you'll lose it. You got to get back in there and get after it, guys and gals. I'll put the playlist in the description box, and we'll see you next video.